Hi, um, Angle Pacific Review. So, £6,000 later, this is what constitutes unpacking. Um, I just got here this morning and my wife has just come back from hospital with a broken hand. She told me what had happened when we got our goods, that they hadn't been unpacked, and she asked me to complain, so I did, and they immediately promised to repack. This is actually it's a, sort of like a double, well in the UK you'd call it a triple garage really. Um, basically 80% of our goods are unpacked. Um, I'm just back from hospital actually because my wife um, had been promised by the Glasgow office, the Uddingston office, that they would send the packers back, the, the Melbourne packers back, um, there's a big hole here actually because uh, we brought two washing machines over and one of them's broken um, So I've, I've got a backup which is good for us uh, for the short term Anyway, I digress. So my wife uh, is back from hospital with a broken hand because she fell down these stairs Because the assistance in, in unpacking the boxes which we complained about in Glasgow, Addingston immediately promised to resolve um, I got a bit cross because we found a vast amount of damage um, it's in the well into the thousands now. Um, he made some very odd remarks, which are subjects of an ongoing legal dispute between us. But anyway, I don't want to mention them here for liability reasons. But uh, suffice to say, they're pretty serious. And the claims, uh, yeah, I think our total total insured value is mid forties, and we're claiming for about ten percent. Um, but as you can see, we we haven't unpacked half of it, so. Uh, We've been through them, um, you know, to have a quick check um, after the unpackers left. But just, I think, I think to to complain and, and obviously my wife's broken hand and, and and other things are a kind of emotional issue for us. So I think what's best to do is just to give you a demonstration of what six thousand pounds with Anglo Pacific. Um, again, I hadn't noticed obviously all the boxes of Anglo Pacific, so I guess there's a little bit of evidence there. Um, the Norbulk, I should say, the Norbulk, this is a, a shipping company, um, one of my clients, I work in, uh, um, as a naval architect in, in the shipping industry. Um, so I have a great deal of knowledge about the shipping industry, which I guess most people don't. And the, the legal dispute that I'm having is basically the, the what, what he asked me to do is, is illegal. Now, I don't know if he did know it was illegal or he didn't, but anyway. So... Your six thousand pounds, Glasgow to Melbourne. Um, as you can see, I think is there a date in it? Yep, it's 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 current. So um, it was packed uh, in December, and they've just arrived um, late last month in February. So you you pay six thousand pounds, and and the salesman it was a lovely chat, but um, he won't answer the phone to you. Funnily enough, after he's made a sale, so he's he's just a salesman. Don't don't be fooled. He's very very plausible, very well dressed gentleman, um, very decent and well spoken and thoroughly dishonest. Um, every, every bit as much of a rogue as your, your Arthur Daly and your cheap car lot. Absolutely, absolutely shocking. Anyway, so £6,000 or 5850 because they tried to charge packing for, for something that was more than it was worth. So um, the, the quote came down just short of 6000 So you pay that and you get stuff packed with care. As I say, we've we've got a claim in, in um it'll be somewhere about three thousand pounds mark. Um there's a few other bits and pieces that are missing, which is subject to police complaint. Um but anyway. So you get something called strange assortment, and you can you can note that it was previously indicated as tools. So I think and again it's obviously opened, but um if you want to check out what kind of person I am, you can check my reviews on TripAdvisor. Angus Houston and based in Glasgow and you'll see that I generally give pretty favourable reviews to most companies you know we're all we're all in this to uh, this life to enjoy it and to um, yeah do the best you can so I don't see any point in being harsh to people when you know the decent hard-working reasonable people again a little bit of evidence of my career there so here's a here's a cup which is beautifully packed um, but it's strange because it says tools that things can't cancel out. So you go in and you can see there's a little bit of every pack, but there's a couple of bits and pieces. And it's it's here's here's our food processor. Our, 
actually one of our focus assessors. So I think that's fairly obvious. Um, as he says, it's, it's miscellaneous. There's there's lots of scales there, kitchen gear, pizza cutter. Um, so that's all you know, kitchen stuff that you would normally have. And there's oh, that's a bit odd. There's a, there's a light bulb. And of course, I mean, I knew as soon as I opened the box, I, I knew what this is, you won't yet, but I knew what it was. Um, so you see, the sun stuff's pretty well wrapped. It's a, you know, it's a, it's a, so it's a pepper grinder, it's a plastic pepper grinder that's wrapped in triple layer of paper, which is odd because we had champagne glasses that were thrown into a box with no wrapping at all. Um, glass picture frames with um, thrown into a box with nothing at all. As I say, so okay, there's a light bulb, which is a bit odd, and some gym gear, which, yeah, it's a bit odd, but I suppose it's packaged, it's, it's actually new. Um, okay, it's odd, but... And then, as I say, I knew full well from the top of the, the box, I knew what was here. We've got woodworking tools. It's actually, it's even worse than woodworking, it actually does uh, metal as well. So here's, here's a box full of filthy tools, packed with our food processor. So anyway, I'm back up to um, yeah, buckle fuel on the bike and yeah, it's just mayhem, absolute mayhem. So needless to say, I don't recommend you use Ang Anglo Pacific. Um, they, they're awful, absolutely awful. I, 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 I just, I'm speechless. Dreadful.